The summits of Sri Lanka are the heart of the island nation. The mountains, giant rocks and waterfalls of Sri Lanka have nourished the ecosystems, wildlife and people of this country for millennia. Discover what inspires us to engineer the future of Sri Lanka. Discover the summits of a nation. Seven peaks reaching to the sky. They seduce the clouds, shelter the earth and give life to all around them. Saptakanya, the seven virgins. These seven giant peaks tower above all else in the land. Rising to over 1,600 meters above sea level, the mountain range is a place where people seldom set foot. Daunting and ancient escarpments, hundreds of feet in height, peer through the woods that hug the rock face. Even for those who brave these intimidating conditions, the dense jungles of Saptakanya are extremely inhospitable. Even Chamara, a local guide who has scaled these peaks more than 50 times, has never become fully familiar with these ancient forests. The forest's understory is densely populated by leeches and is not welcoming to humans that dare to step into its territory. A fateful plane crash in 1974 carrying 191 Indonesian pilgrims bound to Mecca made Saptakanya famous overnight. A memorial for the departed lies amidst an overgrowth in the foothills of the mountain. But for better or for worse, the effects of the tragedy have kept people away from it helping these lush jungles flourish in isolation. However inhospitable to humans, the forests of Saptakanya are a haven for all kinds of wildlife. These forests shelter a vast amount of endemic life found only in Sri Lanka. The understory is the ideal habitat for the rough horned lizard, one of the smallest lizard species found in Sri Lanka. For families of endemic orange-billed babblers, every inch of these jungles are playgrounds. Some hide and seek perhaps, Gotcha! The spot-winged thrush is a rare bird that loves the shady undergrowth of the woods. The colorful emerald dove, too, is a lover of the shade. On a tree trunk, a curious sight. The hump-nosed or lyre-headed lizard can only be found in Sri Lanka. The thick jungle allows it to bask in peace. Mammals like the endangered purple-faced langur and Sri Lanka's national animal, the giant squirrel, roam the canopy. Black bulbuls are regulars of the emergent layer of the woods. Endemic Sri Lankan hill miners play on the treetops and feed on fruit. These forests are a refuge for rare species of birds that enjoy seclusion. The mist-laden peaks of Saptakanya are home to dense cloud forests. Thick tropical sub-montane rainforests with rare species of trees have developed in its lower reaches for thousands of years with little or no disturbance from humans. Natural springs from the peak flow downwards in streams which join the waters of the Kalani River. In the shadowy foothills, a confluence of the waters creates Lakshapana Falls, 
Saptakanya's more popular neighbor. The water from the mountain is a precious asset for all communities surrounding it, providing clean, natural spring water for hundreds of families throughout the year. This land is not without threats. Monoculture plantations like tea and turpentine are alien to these lands. They soak up the fertility of the earth, giving back the earth nothing in return. For as long as humans let these mountains dwell in seclusion, the chances for conserving these vital ecosystems for future generations will remain. Undisturbed, these shady groves can preserve the heritage of this pristine habitat and help all its inhabitants to thrive in harmony for centuries to come.